How much space should you leave at the end of your football boots? Well, about that much. Most people these days order their boots online, and of course it can be tricky to figure out which boots you're going to like the feel of, which ones are going to be comfortable, which ones are going to fit you properly in general, but the number one issue that a lot of people struggle with is sizing, and once you've figured out which size that you need, they arrive at your house and you try them on, the question remains, how much space at the end of your football boots should you leave? Well, the answer to that question is that it really just depends. Like many things when it comes to football boots, when it comes to how much space you leave at the end, it's very much based around personal preference as well as personal tolerance. Everyone likes the fit and feel of something a little bit different. So what needs to be prioritized here is that they feel comfortable on your feet and nobody else's opinion really matters that much. With that in mind, a lot of people don't understand that football boots are designed to fit more snug than regular sneakers that you'd wear casually. The reason why they fit so snug in the forefoot and toe box area is because when you're dribbling the ball, when you're striking the ball, you want it to fit as close to your foot as possible to allow for a better touch, a better feel, less sloppiness, and in turn, better performance. If you're wearing boots that are straight up way too big for you and they're flopping around, that is going to affect your ability to play. So just as a rule of thumb, when trying on brand new boots, you shouldn't be able to see or feel any extra space on the inside of the boots, either at the end of your toe or on the sides of the boots. They should fit pretty snug all the way around and if there's any kind of sloppiness at all especially fresh out of the box they're probably not the right boots for you or you just have the wrong size in regards to the amount of space you should leave at the end of your boots as a general rule of thumb no pun intended about a half a thumbs width is what I would recommend and if for some reason you have really wide thumbs I guess a quarter thumbs width the specific amount of space that you leave actually isn't that important when I wear my boots most of the time I leave little to no space at the end at all. What's important and what I focus on when it comes to getting the proper fit and sizing with any pair of football boots is that they feel comfortable. If my toes are crunching, Obviously the boots are too small and I need a bigger size. If I feel like there's an excessive amount of space at the end of the toe box to where the boots now feel disconnected from my feet, where I can feel slippage, whether it's in the heel, whether it's in the forefoot, whether it's in the toe box area, if something doesn't feel right, that's too much space. But if the boot feels secure, they're comfortable on your feet and there happens to be roughly about a half thumbs width of space at the end, that's perfectly fine as long as you're comfortable with it. That's why I mentioned personal preference and personal tolerance. It's personal preference as to how much space that you leave. However, there should never be a ton of space. And when it comes to tolerance, if you're choosing to leave less space, as long as the boots aren't too tight and you're still able to wear them comfortable, you have achieved the correct amount of space at the end of your football boots. And again, personal preference is huge here. If you wanna leave more than half a thumbs width of space at the end and the boots still feel secure and comfortable on your feet, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Just keep in mind, especially when you're trying on brand new boots, as you wear them in, they are inevitably going to stretch regardless of what boots they are, regardless of what the upper material is. Obviously, if they're leather, they're gonna stretch a little bit more than synthetics boot would, but as the boots stretch in width, that's going to allow for even more space towards the front of the football. Boots. So if there's already a little bit too much space when they're brand new, once you start wearing them and they stretch a little bit, there's probably going to be too much space and you ended up with boots that are now too big for you. And for those that will ask about leaving extra space for the sake of growing room, here's my general advice on that. If you're buying boots that you need to wear right now, they should fit you properly right now. I understand the logic behind buying boots a little bit bigger so you can grow into them so they'll last longer, but the reality of boots in 2018 is that most of them aren't that durable and are probably not gonna last more than a single season if you're playing a lot. So come the end of your season, when you really didn't grow that much and the boots still fit you perfectly fine but are now broken, when you go to buy new boots and buy them even bigger, you're pretty much never playing in boots that fit you properly. So my advice is to buy boots that fit you properly, leave that little bit of extra space but not too much, and come the end of your season when you actually need to replace the boots, if you need to go up the next size, in your new boots because your feet have actually grown, that's perfectly fine. But the likelihood of you outgrowing your boots before they actually need to be replaced, in my opinion and based on what I've seen, it's very, very unlikely. So, like I said at the start of this video, how much space should you leave at the end of your football boots? About that much. 
If you guys did enjoy the video, found it helpful and informative, I would really appreciate it if you could support this one with a like. And if you don't wanna miss out on my future videos, I upload a new one every single day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you're notified when my next upload comes. If you're having any sizing trouble with your brand new boots and perhaps need some advice or just wanna ask some questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments of this video. And I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you guys are interested in some brand new football boots for yourself for the lowest possible prices, even the latest releases. I'll leave a link down below. It'll be the very first one. There'll be a pop-up on screen as well to the Super Deals page on my website where I have all of the latest releases along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you can get just about anything below the normal retail price. So if you need some new boots, be sure to go ahead and check that out. All my social media information is linked down below in the description as well. So if you wanna follow me anywhere else aside from YouTube, that's the place to go. Other than that though, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.